Hi guys, this is Tara with Gaia Tarot 13, and this is your monthly tarot card forecast for January 2017. Into the new year now. Yay! <laughs> Alright, as always with these monthlies, I am going to pull four cards for the four weeks in the month, and then the fifth card is an overview for the entire month. Let's get going. All right, so week one, we have the two of pentacles upright, and this is telling you to uh, not take on any more project. You've got your hands full. You're probably going to be busy this week. Um, you've got several things that you need to like literally juggle. So... Don't take on any more projects or any more financial debt is what's coming to me right now also. Um, just don't don't take on any more. <laughs> Try to keep a good uh, work-life balance as well this week because you may find that things picked up at work, which coming back from the holidays, they almost always do, right? Like you're kind of in that checked out spot in December <laughs> where you just want to be like, ready for the holidays and going on vacation and, you know, celebrating, right? Because you don't want to be at work. You want to be with your family. Um, but then when you come back in January, you're like, oh, look at my desk. <laughs> wow. Okay. So this could be like being very busy at work, trying to make up for that. Um, but just make sure not to neglect your family. You know, you can't binge. You can't like binge December family time and blow off work and then binge January and work time to the detriment of your family, right? So keep a balance. You know, if you need to stay late sometimes to catch up on things, then go ahead and stay late. But make sure it's not constant. Make sure it's not like, you know, a, a main habit, something you're going you're gonna to have to do throughout this month, you know? Again, this is only week one, so uh, it's kind of like a cautionary. It's like, yeah, you're going to be kind of busy this week. <laughs> You're going to have a lot of things you need to catch up on, but try to keep balance in the back of your mind, right? Week two, we have temperance reversed. And this is indicating to me like some sort of a, I want to say neglect again. Like if you're taking something for granted or um, just, yeah, like neglecting. And again, I'm going to tie it back into this, the, the busyness of work. Um, but this is a, another cautionary card, like, hey, if you take your, your family for granted <laughs> or take your opportunities or whatever you've got going on for granted, um, something could kind of like break apart. And I don't, I feel like things I say always sound super dramatic and I don't mean them to be dramatic. It's not like, you know, your marriage is going to crumble. Like that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> But, you know, all that security and bond and, like, togetherness that you created maybe over the holidays, spending so much time together, that's going to start to kind of, like, fall away if you start to just spend all your time at work and dive into work. So this is another uh, discussion about balance, right? We've got the Two of Pentacles here, and then in this picture, we've got the Two Cups, right? So it's about about balance, it's about give and take. She's pouring from one cup into the other cup. He's juggling, you know, both of these. So it's all about balance. And because it's reversed, what it's saying is that if you don't keep that balance in mind, all that water could spill out. Maybe that's a way more long-winded way to say, like, don't take things for granted, but maybe it sounds less dire if I say it long-winded. <laughs> I don't know. So the message is that, you know, it's the same. Like, don't um, keep it. Don't take things for granted. Keep an eye on the balance. Keep an eye on um, connecting, keeping that that bond that you created, and just hang on to that flow. Hang on to that flow of balance. All right, week three we have the ten of swords, and it's upright. So you may have an unexpected ending, and it may be unpleasant. Now, this could come, it's the third week, it's the energy for one week, 
It could come in any area of life. Please don't go to the worst case scenario. <laughs> Please don't go to the, my husband's gonna leave me, I'm gonna lose my job. Like, it could just, I mean, it's just an unexpected ending. So, um, again, it's the third week of January. So maybe you did have a little carryover from the holidays where people stayed with you or you had that um, energy, you know, kind of kind of running into the first couple weeks of January and now it's like, all right, back to reality. Or um, maybe you did still have kind of like fun stuff going on at work and it's like, all right, now it's, <laughs> now it's back to the way it was. Um, you know, taking down like your decorations kind of, you know, like, now that's, you know, an expected ending, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that kind of energy of finality, but just because it's unexpected doesn't mean that it's bad. So, you know, sometimes things are just removed from our life when they're ready to be removed. And sometimes we were okay with them being removed, you know, like if you lose something or if something goes away and you're just like, oh, that's gone. Okay. Yeah, whatever. And you move on. So unexpected endings, unexpected removals, things leaving your life. Um, it's, it doesn't have to be something that you're trying to cling on to. That's like, I'm just picturing like this scenario in my head of someone like clinging on to something and someone else like trying to pry it from their hands. Like that doesn't have to be what it is. You know, it's not like things being pried away from you. It's just like, oh, all right. Well, that's fine. I'm done with that. Week four, we have the Three of Wands, and this is reversed. This is like some stagnation. So maybe whatever we've had going on, you've got um, a problem moving forward. It could be it could be as a result of whatever that was, and now you're like, well, okay, well, what do I do now? Again, not a, how am I ever going to move forward without that? Like, not that. It's just like a, oh, well, what am I going to do now when you just need to stop? You just stop and like sit in it and figure out. So this is not like jumping. See how healthy that is? It's not jumping from like one ending to like a new thing. This is like taking the time, like sitting in place, taking the time to figure out what needs to happen, how to move forward. It may be that you are trying to get some answers and you're not really getting answers. And these don't have to be answers from other people. These can be answers from yourself, right? Like I just said. What do I do now? Okay. And so you just stop and you think about it and you're just waiting for that answer to come to you, which is fine. I mean, that's healthy, especially, I mean, it makes a lot of sense that this card comes on the end of this. So <laughs> what I was going to say is, yeah, it's healthy. It's especially healthy because it comes on the end on, you know, on the other side of an ending, we've got an ending and then we've got a wait period, which is good. You don't want to jump from one thing to another. So interesting. I'd love to hear how this plays out for all of you because it could be so different. We've got like a big kind of work focus, a big balance, a big balance focus the first two weeks and then some sort of an ending or a removal and then a waiting. So it's real interesting. I'd love to hear how this plays out. All right. Overview. Maybe that'll give us some guidance. We have, oh, we have the five of swords reverse. So, um, what I want to say is like, don't be that guy. Don't be the, when it all costs, um, trying to hurt other people. Like, don't do that. Apologize where necessary. Make amends where necessary. Um, try and keep your cool and try to keep things smooth this month because as an overarching message for this month, we're showing like, but you know, thank goodness that it's reversed, honestly, because that shows the end of a conflict. Um, so whatever's going on here, it looks like maybe it might be limited. We'll check out in February and see what happens, but it might be limited to this month, whatever this is in the third week and the fourth week, it might be limited to this month because we've got the end of a conflict. So it could be that there's some ongoing things here with this. And again, I find it really interesting that these are the first two cards reminding you to keep your balance. Keep your balance, keep your balance, keep your balance because 
we want that conflict to end. So, you know, don't do things maliciously. Again, as I said, say I'm sorry where you need to say you're sorry, to whom you need to apologize to. Do all of that. Don't just, don't be right for the sake of being right. Sometimes you gotta suck it up because you maybe your ego feels good to be like, I was right, but I mean, the fallout from it may not be that great. So, very interesting. And as I said, it's gonna play out for all of us differently. Um, it's just kind of a very interesting looking month. Try to keep balance in mind and um, unity and friendship and loving each other and not trying to be the winner. <laughs> keep balance. Keep Balance will keep the peace. That's what I've got. Balance will keep the peace this month. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube page. If you want to get a personal reading with me, the only way to do so is through my website, which is GaiaTarot13.com. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr, where I pull a tarot card every day, reading the energy of that specific day. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Also, make sure to check out the weeklies. That'll help with this, help clarify what's going on. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.